yo what's going on youtube welcome back to another video and today i will be showing you the best five easy solo clothing glitches all in one video and this also does work on all platforms and this also does work for the female and male character as well but if you're new here hit that subscribe button turn on the bell notification as well let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into the video now for this clothing glitch i will be showing you on how to get any ceo outfit and you can also get tangent augers through this glitch as well now you will need to go over to this suburban store on the map it has to be this one now the location is right here on the map so once you're at the suburban store on this location you will need to open up your interaction menu you will need to open up your interaction menu and go over to the hide options and on the hide options go over to the jobs and on the jobs make sure you put it on custom now you will be needing to open up your interaction menu or leave it open and you will need to register as ceo now once you register as ceo you will need to go over to the secure serve management now Go over to the secure serve management. Now go over to the style and select any CEO outfit that you do want. It doesn't matter which one. You could get all these clothing for free. Now, if you're wondering on how to get tan joggers, I think the tan joggers are called El Jeff. But you could get any of these CEO outfits. After you do select the CEO outfit you do want, you will need to back out from the interaction menu. Now you will need to make your way over to this blue circle and start up the mission. Now, once you do start up the mission, you should be loading into a job menu like this. Go over to the confirm settings, launch the mission, and you should be loading into a second job menu like this. Now this part's very important. Go over to the vehicles and click one to the right. Now literally wait about five seconds and you will need to quit out the job and accept the alert. This part is very important. Once you do load in to the GTA Online lobby, run fast as you can back to the clothing store, go over to the top section and wait a few seconds and you should be getting kicked from the top section like this. Now unregister as CEO and you will be able to save the outfit and the outfit is all yours to keep. Yeah guys, remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and let's move on to the second clothing glitch of this video. For this clothing glitch, I will be showing you on how to get the prison uniform. And this glitch been working and is still working. Now, you will need to register as CEO or MC, it doesn't matter which one you register as and you will need a arcade business. Now, if you do not have an arcade business, you can always tell a friend or a stranger to lend you his. And also, it doesn't matter which arcade business, the clothing glitch will still work. Now, you will need to go over to the Heights planning board, and on the Heights planning board, you will need to make sure you have it either on the big con approach or the sneaky con. Now, go over to the Heights preps, and you will need to start with the mission called Vault Key Cards. Now, this should be spawning you outside of your arcade. Now, it will tell you something about hijacking the prison bus. Now, you will need to go over to the prison bus and hijack it. And if you're wondering if you do die during the mission, don't worry, the glitch will still work. And also, I forgot to mention, you can also do this in an invite only session. So. No griefers or tryhards could kill you during this part. Now, after you do steal the prison bus, you will be needing to make your way over to the prison. Now, you will need to enter the prison. And once you're in the prison, it will tell you to make sure you go over to the prison tower. Now, you will need to find the prison guard. And once you do find the prison guard, all you want to do is make sure you kill him and he should be dropping some vault key cards. Now, all you want to do is make sure you pick it up, 
Now, this part's optional. You can always take the prison bus and make your way out of the exit of the prison. Now, after you do lose the cops, it will say heist prep complete. And now you should have the prison guard uniform. And the cool thing about this is it's not really blacklisted. You could save this as an outfit and you will be spawning in with the prison guard outfit. Now, remember, if you're trying to lose the cops, too, you can always call your oppressor. I just called my oppressor to basically to fly away. But yeah, guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's move on to the third clothing glitch of this video. For this clothing glitch, I will be showing you an easy and solo method on how to get any color Gorka pants. Now, you will need to make your way over to any clothing store on the map it doesn't matter which one you go to go over to the front counter and at the front counter you will need to find the section called gorka suit and on the gorka suit you could purchase any color gorka suit you do want it doesn't matter which one you do choose okay now back out from the front counter open up your interaction menu go over to style and click change appearance. Now this should be spawning you into a little room. Now you will need to go over to apparel and on apparel, cycle through the crew t-shirt style you do want. And you should see the color Gorka pants stay. Now, if you do not have an option for that, all you want to do is just make sure you do join a random GTA online crew. Now, once you do select the t-shirt you do want all you want to do is make sure you put save and continue and this should be spawning you into a regular gta online lobby and as you can see you do have the gorka pants now just hit that like button hit that subscribe button let's not waste any more time and let's move on to the fourth clothing glitch of this video i will be showing you on how to get the fully jet black duffel bag now, you will be needing a arcade business, and if you do not own one, you can always tell a friend or a stranger to lend you his. And also, you could do this in an invite-only session, so no one could kill you during this mission. And it doesn't matter which arcade business that it is, the glitch will still work. You will need to register as CEO or MC, and you will need to make sure you have it either on the big con or the sneaky approach. Now, you will need to go over to the Heist Prep Planning Board. And on the Heist Prep Planning Board, you will need to start up the prep called the Group Sec Gear. It is called the Group Sec Gear number two. It should be a number two logo. After you do launch the prep, you should be loading outside of the arcade. Now, once you're at the location, it will tell you that you will need to take a picture of a license plate. Now you will need to do that. And if you do die during the mission, don't worry, the glitch will still work. After you do take a photo of the license plate, you will need to go over to the armored vehicle and pick up the first duffel bag. There will be two duffel bags. So make sure you pick up the first duffel bag and it will say lose the cops. Now, just make your way over to the arcade business after you do lose the cops. You will need to enter the arcade with the black duffel bag like this. Now, once you do enter the arcade, it should be loading you back outside of the arcade once again. Now, you will be needing to make your way over to pick up the last duffel bag. Now, once you're there, you will need to pick up the last duffel bag. And now this part's very important. You will be needing any sort of flying vehicle for this next part. And like I said, it doesn't matter which flying vehicle it is. Now, once you do have the black duffel bag and you do have the flying vehicle, you will need to make your way over to your arcade business and fly really high near your arcade business. You will need to jump out of your flying vehicle like this. Now, open up your parachute. Now, this part's very important. 
All you want to do is make sure you glide into the garage of your arcade business where it makes you cut into the cutscene like this instantly. Now, if you did mess up on that part, there's a little life hack you could do only if you did mess up. Now, just basically stand near the yellow circle. And if you do have a ray gun, shoot the ground and it should boost you into the air and make you hit into the yellow circle. And that's only if you did mess up. Now, once you're in your arcade business, all you want to do is make sure you leave your arcade business. Now, this part's very important once again. You will need a flying vehicle for sure. Now, with your flying vehicle, make your way over to any closest ammunition store that is near you. Now, you will need to make your way inside of the ammunition store. Go over to the front counter. And once you're at the front counter, you will need to go over to the parachutes, go over to the parachute bags, and you will need to purchase the Israel tube bag. It should be a white and blue one. Now back out from the front counter and you will need to open up your interaction menu and equip the Israel tube bag on through your interaction menu like I did. Now, if you're wondering why I always choose the Israel tube bag, I only choose it because it only works for this duffel bag glitch. I would have chose some other parachute, by the way. Now, with your flying vehicle, you will need to fly really high near the mast door like this. Now, make sure you do get really high near the mast door. Now, you will need to jump out of your flying vehicle. Now, open up your parachutes. Now this part's very important. All you want to do is make sure you glide into the mass store. So you could either glide left or the right side of the mass store. So the part that you do want to glide is where the masks are on top of the shelves. Now once you do glide into the mass store, continue to spam right on the d-pad till the mass store opens up. Once it does open up for you like this, you will need to save this as an outfit at least once. I'll back out from the mass store and walk away from the mass store at least like 5 feet and apply the saved outfit you just made and you should see the jet black duffel bag appear on your saved outfit like this. Now if you're wondering if you did mess up on the parachute part all you want to do is make sure you get in any flying vehicle once again and re-jump. But yeah guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button and let's move on to the last clothing glitch of this video. Are you really tired of flying across the GTA 5 map or driving across the map slowly? Alright, so I'll be showing you on how to teleport across the map instantly. So, the only requirement for this glitch is you must have a job heist ready. So, if you do not have a job heist ready, you can always buy one at the facility or your regular high-end apartment. So, so it doesn't matter where you are located at, you can always accept the jobs heist your phone so for instance if you have a job heist already set up it should be located on your jobs list to your phone and it doesn't matter where you're located you can accept the job list like this so I'm on the beach right I'm gonna accept the job heist once I accept it it's gonna send me back to my apartment instantly so this is very useful in case you're getting griefed or killed by tryhards or you would just want to teleport instantly i know a lot of people know about this but a lot of people at the same time don't know about this but this has been in the game for a very long time and this continued to work so if you accept it the first time you could continue to accept it the second time the third time whenever the cool feature about this is you can also do this with the facility so it doesn't matter which facility uh, it is located and it doesn't matter which heist of facility you're doing it with the glitch will still work and it doesn't matter which high-end apartment as well the little trick I just showed you will still work for tomorrow's video it, it is a banger trust me so make sure you have the bell notification turned on so you won't miss out once the video goes live trust me it is a banger and this glitch it does stick but yeah guys, hopefully I did enjoy. Comment below if you need any help. I'll go to the comment section down below and help y'all. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if new. And remember, tomorrow is going to be a straight banger. And catch you on the next GTA 5 online video. Peace.